right now, shooter games seem to be one of the most popular and most watched in this gamer community. And a couple weeks ago, I talked about what makes Overwatch feel better, but in terms of difficulty, in terms of getting better at these games, especially looking at Fortnite, Counter-Strike, and Battlegrounds, how does Overwatch stand up to them in terms of difficulty? So, how hard is Overwatch compared to other games? For this video, we're going to take Overwatch and we're going to compare it to some of the other most popular games that you guys are all playing right now. We're going to be comparing Overwatch to Fortnite, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, and Counter-Strike. These are the three big, we're going to stick with shooters, shooter games that you are all playing and millions of concurrent players are always playing. And we're going to see which of these games really is the hardest. So let's start with Overwatch versus Fortnite. The comparison where we look at a 6v6 team-based shooter, Overwatch, to a solo, you're on your own battle royale, which is Fortnite. How do you even compare these? So first, I want to say we don't compare by how many wins you get. Because obviously, as you all know, a win in Fortnite or any battle royale is different than getting a win in Overwatch or your Counter-Strikes or your Call of Duty, where it's matches versus huge games of 100 players. So we're going to be looking at this in terms of how hard is it to get good at this game? How hard is it to become better than your average player? Okay, so let's look at Fortnite. To me, there are three things you have to know in Fortnite. That is building the rhythm of your weapons, like how they shoot, and then the items. Those are the only three you have to know to me. The rest is just pretty much positioning and decision making, which positioning and decision making will kind of linger in every single game that we ever talk about. But to me, it took me about 50 hours of intentional practice with the intent to get better. So not just playing squads with friends, landing in tilted towers, 50 hours of the intent to get better, and I was able to start winning many solo games every single night. But when we compare this to Overwatch, you have to learn, and mind you, this isn't stuff I'm making up. This is stuff that you should know to be better than your average player. Hero counters, hero synergies, abilities, and their cooldowns and resets, and that's a lot for every single hero. So you multiply that by like 70. That's a joke. Ultimates and ultimate duration, passives, damage amounts, healing amounts, health pools. Okay, you could see we could go on for a long time. And you basically multiply everything I talked about by like around 30. Is it so sad that I've been an Overwatch YouTuber for this long and don't know the exact number of heroes there are in this game? <laughs> I'm the worst Overwatch YouTuber there is. Basically, we could probably go on for a while. And this took me 150 hours to hit Diamond in Overwatch. And that's where you really start to be looked at as a little above average, at the diamond rank. It took me 150 hours just to do that. 150! And then, I wrote this one down too because I went and did the math. I looked at my profile. An extra 700 to hit Grandmaster. So, how hard is Fortnite compared to Overwatch? Not hard at all. It takes significantly less time to be better at Fortnite than it does at Overwatch. Let's take everything we just talked about from Overwatch and compare that now to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, where there are really only two things you have to know: your items and your bullet drop. And some of you might want to punch me in the gut right now, and I'd please ask you to keep your hands to yourselves. Battlegrounds relies heavily on your positioning and your decision making. Almost every single piece of skill in this game comes from your decision making. It took me around 100 hours to start doing well in Battlegrounds, but it took me only 50 hours for Fortnite, and so far in Overwatch, we're at about 150. So, Overwatch is still the hardest compared to the games we've been talking about. But I know you are all itching for me to talk about this last one. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Let's get right on to it. I had to write this one out as well. In Counter-Strike, you have to know Weapon Economy, Smokes, Flashes, all of your frag grenades and molotovs, Rotations, plant locations, weapon sprays, angles on every single map. Every single place you could go on every single map has specific angles you need to be walking around a corner with when your crosshair is moving. Okay, I want you to just basically understand this is loaded like Overwatch. The list of things you have to know to become better than most players in Counter-Strike is the same with Overwatch. It's going to be a crap load of information. And in Counter-Strike, it took me about 120 hours to reach Gold Nova which I know some of you are laughing about, but I had to dump like another 300 on top of that to hit Master Guardian, which is that golden AK rank. And so I know what some of you may be expecting. Knowing that I come from Overwatch primarily, you're expecting me to sit back, pop my collar, and be like, Overwatch is the harder game. And I'm that's why I play Overwatch, is it's harder, it's harder to be good at it, and so that makes me even better than everyone else that's good at any other game. Well guys, that's not true. I look at Overwatch equally as difficult as Counter-Strike. And seriously, 
Like, I mean that. I'm not making this video the way it is with this conclusion that Overwatch and Counter-Strike are equal in difficulty because I don't want to make anyone mad. I just want to make everyone happy when I'm all about looking at people's profiles, stats. I want to look at the hours behind gameplay. When you see people of high rank in Counter-Strike and people of high rank in Overwatch, they often have somewhat similar time put in. So this is telling me and after because of course I have freaking hundreds of friends over the years that have played Counter-Strike. I go back through all their profiles. When I'm in game, I'm clicking through people's profiles. All this information slowly starts to add up over time. And so now that I'm in a position where I can publicly say what I think about the two games in terms of difficulty and how much time you as a person have to put in practicing, the games are somewhat equal. I feel like if you were to put a thousand hours in Overwatch and a thousand hours in Counter-Strike, you'd be at that same skill level relative to both. So if you're good at Counter-Strike or if you're good at Overwatch, that means you've seriously put a labor of love into the game. And I think that's really cool and I absolutely respect that. And I hope you tell me about your journey in the comments below. I want you guys to tell me if you play Counter-Strike and Overwatch both, I want you to tell me your hours in both and your rank, if that makes sense. I, I think it'd be really cool to look at what you guys see. I think it'd be cool for you guys to see your actual comparison and see how it's kind of true. Equal time put into both means you're about at that same skill level. I hope that none of you are under the impression that I'm making this video undertoning trying to say if you are good at Overwatch and Counter-Strike, it means that you're automatically good at your Fortnites and your PUBGs. I'm absolutely not because after coming from Grandmaster and Overwatch to my first like week or two in Fortnite, it was ugly and I had a lot to learn. And once I put in that 50 hours of practice, it was almost all in building as you know and getting better at building, I started winning games. It's not as hard to be good at those games, but it absolutely takes a lot of time to master. And then if you want to get anywhere near the level of Tyler Blevins, you're going to be putting a grand worth of time there. So that's all I have to say for this video, guys. If you want to be good at any video game, it is going to take a thousand hours of practice to be anywhere near the top, minimum. And then it's going to take 10,000 to truly master, as we all know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we are really coming up on 100,000 subscribers. The dream of mine since I got my first laptop. We're getting a little close every single day. So guys, thank you so much for being part of this channel. Our journey on YouTube is nowhere near from ending. So I hope to see you guys for the next one. Leave a comment down below with that Counter-Strike and that Overwatch information. Because I'm really curious to see how it's going to pan out for you guys, my viewer base. So have a good one, everybody. Take care. Nice Good. quacks. Coming to you, Nathan. A lot of people just dropped. Holy, dude, everyone nice. is dying. That's pretty sick. There's only two other people, guys. We got this, we got this. Drink up if you can. Yep. I got one of them, I got one of them. Oh my god. Us first one. Nathan. You're god. Fire in the hole. Oh god, I'm down. He's under the bridge. We got it. We oh got it. my gosh, nice, dude. Oh, nice. I had no idea where he was at. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't follow you, dude. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't think they were together. Nice job, guys. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I died like a champ. Hey. That's all that matters.